guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to open pizza. If you checked out our first video in the series, we showed you how to make dough. Uh, we've just loaded another one last week, which is how to sort of shape perfectly round dough balls. You will end up with this. So these are dough balls that we did about three to four hours ago. Uh, you'll see they kind of begun to spring to life. They've got nice little air bubbles in and they've begun to rise. We're gonna take you through right now how to take the dough balls out of the dough tray. And then we're gonna show you how to stretch the pizza by hand. No rolling pins, it's cheats method. We don't do it and it knocks all the air out of it. If you want big crust, it's gotta be done with these bad boys. <laughs> ones as I said we made about two to four hours ago and what we're looking for is life in the dough when you first put them in there they would be round and kind of large like this they then relax and then they start to grow up again so these ones are in that kind of like perfect stage if the dough balls aren't rising quick enough then what you can do is a bit of a cheats method just put them in a warmer place under kind of a sunny window above or next to a radiator again you're going to get that proof a little bit faster So here we've just got a mix of semolina flour and regular double zero flour just to help us get the dough balls out. So what we do is we take a pinch, we go over the top of the dough ball, around the edges and then down that dividing line. Take our spatula, and we want to get underneath it but maintain the shape. Give it a dunk in the flour and then out onto our countertop. And at this stage, what we're trying to do is make sure that we leave as much of a crust as possible and keep the shape as much as possible as well so it looks pretty. So if rather than using a dough tray, you've used a cereal bowl, which is a good way to make sure that your dough ball is perfectly round. What you want to do again is just make sure that you kind of ease it out of the bowl as, uh, as gently as possible. Again, just to always make sure that you're keeping the shape of the dough ball as much as possible. Like that. We'll start with just two fingers and go starting at the top, press out around and down the pizza to see, you can see now around there I've left pretty much a one inch border. So now once we've done that first round the edge, we go back up through the middle using more of our hand. Same thing again, back up through the middle, this stage just give it a nice quarter turn, same thing again. And you can see we've got kind of now, we've gone from dough ball to kind of halfway open pizza. What we're gonna do is just give that sprinkle of flour on the top because this top edge is gonna be sticky. Uh, and now I'm gonna start stretching it by hand on the table. Effectively what I'm using is one hand to push the dough out and one hand to kind of hold the rest of the dough in place. This holding down, this one pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. I'm always leaving the one inch board around the outside this stage you can see there's lots of flour on the top and it's uh, but it's almost like full pizza size so what we're going to do now is we're going to get it up onto our hands what i do is i pick it up put it on one hand and pass it from hand to hand so hands on and i'm going to pass on to my lefty and pass on to my righty and every time i'm doing that it's a quarter turn on the dough so at this stage it's actually too big for the oven but just to show you you can keep stretching it because it's double zero flour it's super elastic. So just to show you again, pick it up on the righty, pass it, pass it. And what you want to do is make sure that when you're passing from hand to hand, your fingers are facing down, not up. If they're up like this, uh, they're going to go through the base of the pizza. It's just giving it a bit more support. Once you think it's the right size, you can brush off the flour off the table and pop it down like that. Just to show you another couple of the techniques that you can do. What's the quite famous one is uh, called the Napoli slap. And effectively what they're doing there is they're flipping it up onto the top of this hand and then slapping it back down like this. Put all on the tabletop. So let's take it, flip it up and hit it back down. And as you're doing that, you see I kind of twisted it. Pick it up, flip it down. And you see there now you've got a roundish pizza. So the final way that you can do this is uh, to get it up on your knuckles and give it a little turn and a flip like that. So we're gonna get it up on our knuckles and just give it a flip and a pass. You can see it stretches really quickly. Uh, so it's not generally a way that we would use in the restaurant. Again, because what you can do is it just really stretches the dough quickly and you end up with a really thin base. But uh, 
yeah, it's, it's quite an easy way to learn to do it as well. All right then guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember, give us a uh, subscribe on the video, give us a like as well, let us know anything that you want us to do. That's us today taking you through how to open pizza, ready for our next video, which is gonna be showing you how to do frying pan pizza and also cooking in a conventional oven at home. Cool, ciao.